Very often the scientists will say you'll need to publish a peer-reviewed paper in order for us to be able to use that within the IPCC system. And um, that's an ongoing, a bit of a colonial structure in the sense that the um, knowledge systems, which very often manifest as oral histories, or uh, I heard, I learned a new word today, optic histories of indigenous peoples, re referring to visual way of looking at things, don't get their uh, share in the way we try to understand about climate change. And that's why, that's the, that's the urgency, that we still have a rooted indigenous communities on the land with subsistence practices that would have a lot to contribute, but they don't get their voices directly heard. That's a very big issue. And obviously then uh, within the larger premise of IPCC and, and the UN FCCC, uh, you have the question of how Aboriginal rights are being recognized within that system. The very starting point of what we would need is the knowledge of indigenous peoples of what weather is and what, what they call climate or air is and how to have good relations with that. And that's missing from all of these debates and, and uh, that in itself would be the starting point to have a respectful and proper way of uh, communicating what Aboriginal peoples around the world uh, know about the weather and, and its various ways of manifestation and how to be with the weather. Because if we get those messages inside the IPCC, we will start to get also the moral and the ethic views which are inherent in many of the oral histories and cosmologies of different Aboriginal peoples. Uh, now how to do that? is a vast question and it depends on the on the way we could start to incorporate these things into the uh, IPCC process. But I think a start would be a respectful and well-guided um, dialogue where you would have perhaps a selection of elders from a vast range of Aboriginal nations around the world having their uh, the kind of things that they want to submit to the IPCC uh, being recognized and obviously we have a lot of organizations that could facilitate that process so I don't think the problem would be to get the messages the problem would is currently that we just need to reframe uh, the way we understand climate change and science in a way that would include and welcome the Aboriginal people's views and, and cosmologies.